guys, what's up? In today's video, I'm going to be going through my entire Michael Jackson collection and sorting through it. I moved several months ago and yet still have not had the time to sort through all of this stuff. And it is a lot of stuff. I need to consolidate it, make sure that um, some of the things that I don't want on display are actually put away. And yeah, get this in order because I'm tired of it looking like this. Stay tuned, you don't want to miss it. You're now watching MJ Fangirl TV. All right, you guys, so hi, talking hand here. I just want to show you basically what we're going through, which is all of this here. Um, we've got some DVDs, records, books, um, CDs, tapes, board game, so much stuff, dolls, um, and it's all messy like this. Um, MJJ Anonymous, who's my husband, just actually made these shelves so that they don't move. I forgot what you call it, anchor them. They're anchored to the wall now, uh, which was a big concern because as you know, we live in California, there's always earthquake thing, and then also now we have a baby. So we wanna make sure that all this stuff is looking nice, as well as I wanna put all the top heavy items on the bottom. Okay, you guys, so let's get started. I'm gonna go through everything here, and there's some stuff in this box as well, um, and really heavy stuff. Okay, first we have albums. Um, a lot of different things here. This just came out. This was a birthday present that honestly we should hang this. This is so nice. It's a victory tour like promo poster. Oh no, it wasn't for birthday. I think I got this for, and JJ and Alice gave that to me for my, for Christmas I think one year. Um, okay, so. Just gonna try to take all these down from here. Um, this is actually just records in general. It's not just only Michael. We've got Moving Violation, but we've got Latoya, um, Carol King. Let's see, of course, E.T. Storybook. Um, let me know, you guys, if you guys have any cool solutions for storage for records because these kind of, I don't know, and like we don't really, I'll be honest with you, I don't I'll really listen to records. This is my prized possession, the CD, the pop-up. Of course, I say prized possession and it's not even, um, it's just in terrible condition. You guys, a lot of my stuff was actually purchased way before um, Michael passed away, and not that that means that I shouldn't take care of my stuff, but that means that number one, I was way younger, and number two, you know, I always was operating under the mindset that I could get more, or like, that it was just for me to like, have and enjoy myself. I never thought that I was gonna be doing this YouTube thing, and so, um, I don't know if you guys have seen, but like, a lot of times when I've posted my collection, people have been like, oh, MJ Fangirl doesn't deserve these items, she's not at the level, that she should be at with how she takes care of her stuff and it's like I mean in one instance yeah I get it but then in another it's like there are a lot of things that I take really good care of as well um, and I'm gonna show you guys uh, a bunch of things that I've had for years and years that are in excellent condition and um, no one can tell me anything differently number one look at this this is my 2001 um, what is it called? It is called a program from the 30th anniversary show and this is in really good condition if I'm honest with you. Oh look, Whitney Houston and Bobby Brown. I had like their little page. Um, anyway, so there's that. Uh, I, I, yeah, it's just, um, it's so many items here and then, you know, if you guys did not know, uh, in my last, apartment well in our last apartment we had you know there was a shelf here and then a shelf in another part of the the living room but now everything's kind of like put together so I want to make sure that it all makes sense um, but first let me go in here okay so I think at the bottom of the and then there's this random Tupac book which doesn't even belong here Okay, so I'm gonna take the books that are like, well, I don't know. I feel like 
some of these I'm not going to use. All right, so I'm going to make two piles. I'm going to make a pile of books that I'm actually going to look at and refer to and then some that are not. So, like, this is really cool, but when I'm, I'm not going to really go through that. Um, so I'm going to make a pile over here next to Tupac. Um, Before He Was King, awesome coffee table book. going to look at that. These are Motown chords. I'm going to put this to the side because you never know. Um, what's this stuff? This is what? Oh, I don't know if I ever showed this to you guys, but oh my goodness. This is my Thriller 3D ticket when I went to go see Thriller 3D with the girls in Canada. And um, funny story. On our first, not really our first date, but the first time we met, um, MJJ Anonymous gave me these. These are Neverland stationery papers, like actual stationery from Neverland. And it's got like, I don't know if you guys could see in the light. I don't think it's visible, but it has, I don't think you could see it, but it has like an imprint. It says Crane's Crest. So official Neverland Valley stationery. And, um... Yeah, he got this because he actually went to Neverland in his teens. So, if you guys want to hear that story, he told it on Patreon. Um, so you can join my Patreon to listen to that. Uh, but here's, oh yeah, another piano book of Invincible stuff. So I'll put that to the side. Another visual documentary, which we need. Color by number. I'm going to put some of the stuff to the side because I actually I'm going to do a giveaway of some of the stuff that I'm just not going to use. I think I originally bought this for a giveaway. So I'm going to put that to the side. Another great book, Bryce Nahar's Blood on the Dance Floor. I love this because it doesn't really talk about, you don't really, you don't really get any other books that talk about this subject. And I regret not having this on my list. This and the visual documentary I meant to have on that last book list, which I should reshoot um, it's such a bummer that it came out so poorly. The lighting was really bad. Moonwalk, um, Talitha's book, My Family, the Jacksons. See, like, this book is so super cute, but, like, am I ever going to open this? Not really in the near future, so I'm putting that to the side. Then I have a big version of it, putting that to the side. Um, oh, this is cute, if you guys know. I am Captain EO, uh, Nate. This is old stuff, my old binder from high school. Some pins, a Japanese article, if you guys see. Can you guys see that? My host mom wrote um, the furigana next to the kanji. Those are all like the ways to read all the harder words that I pretty much don't know. Um, so yeah, I'll put this to the side. That's just like something that I want to have for my own personal needs. Um, these are some records again. Uh-oh. These I need. So I'm going to put this. I'm going to put my this album to the side. These records to the side. I'm not sure that I want to keep these records out if I'm honest with you. But... Um, we'll just leave this pile here. Now, inside of here, we have more books. All right, so we have another Moonwalk. This is a newer version. That other one was like my original, original version of Moonwalk. Uh, I'm going to save, actually, a bunch of these to go on the top shelf. But let's take these down. These J. Randy Tabrelli books. A lot of people ask me about this and I kind of like don't really have any thoughts on it. It's just, I mean, this is like one of the first books that I read about Michael and so um, it does have a special place in my heart but I just don't know how accurate it is. So that's why I never really recommend it. I mean, if you want to read it, you got to take everything with a grain of salt. It's an account from someone that wasn't always there. The beginning, yes, he was there. Um, he did a couple of interviews with Michael, I believe. So, uh, if you want to read that, like, be my guest and let me know what you guys think about it. I'm someone that kind of like prefers not to read stuff like that, especially now after he's passed away and he can't really, um, he's not here to like rebut or like, how do I say, like, 
he's not really here to tell us whether any of that stuff is real or not so I tend to kind of shy away from stuff like that okay so yeah this is another book it's like that's got to go to the corner it's the side this book has also got to go to the side I don't really know I'm not really I, I'm not really a fan of these photos like I I get that it was like an artistic thing but not really like anything that I'm interested in. So I'm going to put this to the side. Um, hmm. Let me go through here and see what else is inside of this box. Oh yeah, more heavy books. You know what? And I have Joe Jackson's book. You know what? I could actually put a bunch of the books at the bottom and they'd be out of the way. Wait a second, I'm confused. Do we have another? There's another pop-up album, and I have no idea what this is about. Did I buy another one? Or is this my husband's one? I'm not sure. That's the crazy part about having two Michael Jackson fans. Like, we still, like, for some reason, want to buy, like, our own copies of things. It's kind of funny. Um, okay. Let's see if that's going to fit. I think eventually, like, what I would like to do is have uh, a room, kind of like how Brene and Ryan have. Like, if you guys do not know, you got to check out Brene and Ryan on YouTube. I think it's called, like, Brene and Ryan, MJJ fans, or something like that. Their channel's really cool. Um, they have a huge collection, huge collection and when I say huge like I mean a serious collection of Michael Jackson stuff and so I really think that um, they're the way they store their stuff is like aspirational they've got a lot of glass cases and a lot of really valuable stuff that they have displayed really nicely in their home so I would love to do that oh I gotta show you, you guys this Architectural Digest. Someone gifted this to me. I don't recall. Oh, somebody gave me like a whole box of stuff. Shout out to you. You gave me so many cool things. And it had this awesome Architectural Digest in it. And it goes over like Neverland and how it looked inside. And I, and I love, I love this so much. Look how beautiful. Really, really, really stunning. I love this, honestly. It's so different, though, now when you look at, like, what's in style now in terms of uh, just, like, home design and stuff. It's all, like, gray and white, which is cool. Like, that's how my last apartment was, and I loved it. But I'm kind of over it now. Another copy of Dancing the Dream, which should go here. The Julian's Auctions book, after Michael had passed away. This was the auction in August or November of 2009. It was so much stuff. And now that I think back to it, it's kind of sad. It's like, where did all this stuff go? Uh, oh my gosh, I love this dangerous world tour jacket. It's funny because, you know, it has the prices listed in here of what they thought it would go for, but some of this, so much of this stuff probably went for so much more. Um, classic thriller book. If you don't have that, check that out. See, now this is getting to be like not, see how like the magazines are all nice? Like I kind of want to put this under that, but I'm going to save this for another shelf because it's going to kind of mess up the groove that I have. Okay, so more magazines, another Architectural Digest. And I'm putting these magazines at the bottom because they're kind of heavy, like I said. Um, let's see what these are. I don't know what this is. This has lost its cover, it looks like. What is this? What is this, actually? I don't know what it is. And the sad thing is, is I know it's Michael-related because it's in here. 
but I've lost the cover, so I don't know what, what it's about, what it's about. So I'm gonna put this to the side. Please don't come for me in the comment section. <laughs> I know that I should be taking a little bit better care of certain things, like, but you guys, I try my best and that's all I can do. All right, that book. You know what, I realized I'm gonna just take all those books that I said I wasn't gonna put up here and now there's room. Um, okay, I've got these little teeny tiny books. Hold on. Let me move this over here. Okay. Now I can get a little bit closer. Okay, so. <sighs> magazines, magazines. So these are all kind of like the same shape. Like these music books, music, piano chords books so I will put these also as well as the Julian's auctions book on this section with the magazines and I'm gonna toss this dancing the dream here as well as hmm what else could I put up there I could put like there are certain things that I just want to be higher up I mean, I could just talk, put this here as well that I said I wasn't gonna put here, but it's like if it's if it's here, then why not just find a spot for it? Uh, and then of course, this is done. Now I'm gonna move up here to CDs and I'm just gonna arrange it how I see fit. I'm not gonna do like, oh shoot, there's more CDs up here, hold on. Let me just see. Up here, there are DVDs, tapes, like, all the stuff has just got to come down, by the way. How cool is that? I think that's original from the 80s. See, we've got, like, double double of a lot of this stuff. Like, CDs are up here. I'm not sure whose is who. Ryan Little. <laughs> CDs are all here. As you can see, there's, they're all just going to be on the shelf because this is going to be the only way that we're going to be able to keep everything in its own, like, you know, this is the CD section, okay? All of our CDs are here. Um, and if you want to see, like, a really in-depth look at all of my CDs, you guys could check out my CD collection video. I did it two or three years ago. I mean, I could do another one, um, but it's all the same stuff. Uh, as, as we move up here, these are all the VHS tapes as well as DVDs and some cassettes. These are not in the best condition, so don't come for us with the cassettes. But uh, these are these. Now, I wanna try and organize these um, TV guides. How many TV guides would you guess that we have of the same exact issue? So two of those, one of these, I think this is from 99. Yeah, really cool interview in here. Uh, and then, these are all the same. They're two different covers, but they're all the same thing. Uh, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the same exact TV guide. This is Ghost, so Ghost needs a little special spot. So we'll put, we'll put Ghosts. Hmm, where can Ghosts go? Ghost needs its own spot. Maybe we could just have Ghost sitting right here. I think that's kind of cool. Yeah, we'll have to figure that out later. Oh, and then I forgot these Thriller, making of Thriller VHS tapes. They've got to go up here too. So now I'm considering taking this out, putting these, this here. This is cool. This is Hello World, the Motown solo collection. We'll just stand that up there. I mean, like I said, I just want to make this look more presentable than it has. It doesn't need to be perfect, but it needs to be presentable. So now we're going to move on up. Okay, you guys, so I just want to show you what I've done. Um, I put these dolls up here. They're all, like, pretty light, um, but I just want them to be on this top shelf. 
Then these LA Gear sneakers are gonna be back here on this top shelf up here. All right, so I just want to kind of show you guys what is left out here. Um, I got to find a spot for these books. Um, and this is like one of my most prized possessions. This is the Jackson 5 action game. Let me know if you guys would be interested in me actually like showing you how this is played. Maybe we could do a video about it. I think it'd be pretty cool, but I mean, it's... A 70s game, um, pretty like basic rules, it's for kids and stuff, so I don't know how interesting that would be, but comment down below and let me know. Okay, so the games, maybe are going to go here. This is the cord for this jukebox. If you guys did not know, this is like a one-third scale size smooth criminal statue from Pure Arts. It is so bomb, I love it so much. And... Um, it's really, really nice, and I really love it. So, I wanna make sure that this is in a nice spot. Oh, it's heavy. So we gotta push this backwards. Push this jukebox back, and I have no idea what some of these, let me hide this underneath here. Comment down below if you guys have this. I love this. Um, it's like a, a replica of the record. Let me take it out so you guys can see. It's so cool. Look, it's like the actual record, but really tiny. I thought that was really neat. So, anyway, so that's going to go here. All right, so I'm back down here. I've got some autographs from Marlon and Tito. I've got a really dingy, dirty Ultimate Collection. And then we've got a nicer one around here somewhere. Um, around here somewhere. Oh, yeah, here it is. Got these two ultimate collections. I thought I had three at one point, but it might have gotten, might have been given away somewhere. Um, so I'll just put these here. Like I said, you guys, it's not ideal the way that we have to stack stuff up, but it's gotta find its own space. Um, this is something that I love. I don't remember where I got this. I think my dad got this for me, but it's. Um, the New York, New York Times, Life and Times of Michael Jackson, 1958 to 2009. 60 historical newspaper pages from the New York Times, which is really iconic, especially me being a New Yorker. So, so you guys, if you guys want me to actually redo some of those videos, I mean, I know that I did them before. I was a lot uh, younger in like my YouTube channel. And so uh, if you guys want me to redo anything, whether it's the magazine collection, CD collection, Vinyl collection, tour book collection, uh, let me know. Uh, like I said, a lot of the stuff is going to be the same because I really have not expanded my collection much. Um, and so, you know, it would just really be new commentary from me. Uh, and so if you're looking for something like that from my channel, let me know because I, I would totally be open to doing it. Uh, it's just a matter of, of, of getting it done. So anyway, so I'm going to... I think now what I'm going to do is I'm going to consolidate these albums into like one huge stack instead of the two that they are so I could fit more stuff in this bottom shelf. Some more things that are heavy like some of these books because really I would like to get all the Michael Jackson stuff up here and off of and outside of any bins. I would love to just use that bin for storage for other things like my baby's clothes because she's growing out of clothes so fast now you guys. Um, our baby is almost... Um, eight months old and that is just so shocking to me. I can't believe that it's been so long and um, Yeah, kids just grow up so fast and I can't and I know she's still so little uh, but but yeah, it's just been like such a joy to watch her and um, Grow and stuff and so I would love to use that bin for that as opposed to putting more Michael stuff in that right now because we definitely need the storage for the clothes that she's growing out of and you know, some toys and things that we need to break down. Speaking of that, I am graying in the front. I've actually been gray. A lot of people have mentioned this. I've been gray in the front of my head for a very long time. Like, the last five, four or five, 
no, I wouldn't say five years. I would say the last three or four years, but you guys haven't noticed it because I either covered it with makeup or I dyed my hair. Right now, I'm not into really covering it with makeup because it's just not, it just comes out and it's just not like my favorite thing to do. I really want to get my hair colored again, um, but I'm breastfeeding right now and so I really am trying not to color my hair, but I am getting towards the end of that. So I'm thinking that I'm going to be coloring my hair very, very soon and so you guys will stop calling me an old lady. No, no one's ever called me old. You guys are just like, I see you graying girl, I see the grays, yes, I see the grays and they're going to be taken care of. Okay, back to the shelf. So I ended up just putting all the cassettes here together. Actually, Vision should go on this side with the rest of the DVDs. But, um, two copies of Vision. The cassettes are there. Um, I really want to put this, like, Jackson's Pepsi can here on this shelf, as well as some of these other things. Like, I have this Michael Jackson shot glass that I got from the Cirque du Soleil, if this will ever focus, from the Cirque du Soleil store. And then also there's this vintage mug here. Um, and none of these are like too, too heavy. I feel confident and okay putting them up here. Um, and then I really wanted to add as well this This Is It ticket, the lenticular ticket. This was actually given to me as a gift from uh, my girlfriend. So I think I'm going to leave that up there. I mean, it's kind of like maybe it doesn't fit. I don't know. We'll leave it up there for now, and then we'll see how the rest goes. All of this stuff, oh, I have a book up here that I need to put down here with the rest of the books. If there's any space. Yes, there's just a little bit of space. So, yeah, and I ended up putting the TV guides down there, because like I said, I just want this to be all, all the heavy stuff to be consolidated. I still have a bunch of stuff down here, and um, we've got two of these. I have so much stuff, you guys. I think I'm going to end up doing a giveaway really soon, especially because I already hit 35k subscribers. And I want to say thank you to you guys for that. And I never got the chance to. So giveaway coming up soon. Stay tuned for that. Follow me on my Instagram here if you do not already um, because I might do it on IG. The last thing I want to talk to you guys about in terms of just like a topic um, is... The whole unreleased music thing. A lot of people ask me to like talk about like the unreleased music. There's been some leaks of like some unreleased footage and stuff. Um, I just don't believe in discussing stuff like that. It's way too controversial, number one. And number two, I don't think it's right. I don't, I mean, I don't suggest or support theft in any way. But I also just don't like the fact that um, I just feel like Michael had so much more control, of course, when he was here over his legacy and things that were released and things were not released for a reason. So um, that's all I'm gonna say about that. Uh, right now I have this Motown 25 and let me show you guys also, this is so cool. I think it's cool. This is something that I drew way back in the day. It is a photo of the Jackson 5. Not a photo, but like my like interpretation of them. I drew this when I was 14, so I thought that was like a little cool um, piece of a memory for me to have. And yeah, the shelf is pretty much done. Let me show you guys how it's looking. All right, you guys, so I have done everything that I think I can do with this today. This is how it's looking. Um, I pretty much just put all the dolls here, got my Smooth Criminal here, all this looks pretty nice and together. There's a couple things on the floor here that need to be put here, but I actually have to run now because MJ Fan Baby is waking up from her nap. So, um, this is what it looks like. Books, magazines, ghosts down there, all the CDs, DVDs, cassettes, tapes, and then just random stuff up here. I'm going to eventually make this look a little bit more presentable, but that's it for right now, you guys. Comment down below, like I said, if there's anything special that you want me to do for upcoming videos. I've just been kind of burnt out on reaction videos, and so I really don't want to do that right now unless there's something really special to do. Um, so yeah, comment down below, and thank you guys for watching. Bye!